Ladies and gentlemen, now in the ring, what you've all been waiting for. Here we go. It's time for the main event of this evening, presented to you by Ed Holmes All-Star Promotions. Now in the ring, six rounds of boxing in the Super Bantamweight Division. This bout is sponsored in part by Rockwell Watches. Ladies and gentlemen, before... I want to do the fighters first, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Dr. Lou Moret, he is Hall of Famer. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing red trunks trimmed in orange. He is training out of San Pedro Gym by way of Nabalato, Sinaloa, Mexico. He weighed in 120.8 pounds. He is a veteran of 33 professional bouts, eight wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Daniel El Pato Guerrero. His opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing red trunks to rimmed in yellow. He is hailing out of Gamboa Boxing in Whittier by way of East LA. Tonight he weighed in 122.8 pounds. His record eight wins, three losses, one draw, two wins coming by way of knockout. He is the current California State Featherweight Champion, ladies and gentlemen, Xavier the Mongoose Montalongo. Ladies and gentlemen, before our bout in the ring, will you please welcome the pastor of Victory Outreach right here in downtown Los Angeles, Mo Parich, to say a prayer. It's great to be with everyone here tonight. There's a lot of beautiful and excited people. Uh, my name is Mo Parich. I have the privilege to pastor a Victory Outreach Church here in the city of downtown Los Angeles. So welcome to our city. It's exciting to be here. We have a great church, but we came to pray. Let's pray. If you would bow your heads with me, and we're just going to pray in the spirit of thanksgiving. Father, we thank you. We have so much to be grateful for tonight. There's breath in our lungs. We're alive. We're healthy. We're well. And tonight, we just pray your blessing upon these young men. We've seen some great matches tonight, and we know that you've saved the best for last. We pray your hand would be upon this promotion, upon this fight, and we thank you. We're careful to give you the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name, we all say, amen. amen. God bless you. Let's get ready for war. Thank you very much, Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, our referee, Dr. Lou Moret, to give final instructions. Well, welcome everybody to the All-Star Promotions Battle of the Rising Stars main event coming to you live. Here we go. Six rounds of boxing in the Super Bantamweight Division. Thank you. And here comes the bell for our main event, y'all. I'm joined here ringside by Ricky Paris. Hey. Kickboxer extraordinaire. And of course, Juan Galvez from Fino Boxing. Thank you all for a great night. Here we are, main event. We got Javier the Mongoose Montalongo. I've seen him fight a couple of times, and uh, he's fantastic. He's the guy to watch. Daniel Cuevedo. A little older. He's 31 years old uh, to Javier's 23. Cuevedo's definitely more of a seasoned fighter here, I think. Um, as far as age, I mean, he's, he's got, he's got. Yeah, age and, uh, you know, just fights fought. 13 and 16 with wow. eight KOs. Both guys in the red and yellow trunks, so I guess we'll go with the, you know, the black shoes maybe. Uh, it's hard to say. They, they look almost the same. Well, they both have black, <laughs> but one has black and white and the other one has black and yeah, red. Yeah, you know. 
The mongoose, mongoose looks you know, really sharp, man. Look at him. Look he at him. he just, is sharp. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I've seen him fight. It's going to be a great fight. We're going six rounds tonight. And, you know, I, I want to just do a quick shout out, I'm sure, on behalf of Ed Holmes and Rockwell Watches for, for coming in and being a new sponsor here for this Battle of the Rising Stars. Great to have you here. Well, you know, I didn't wear a watch tonight just in case they want to give an extra one out. I got yeah, I got it, one of my Yeah, it's cruiseradio.com yeah. if you want to send us a watch. We receive watches uh, 24 hours at, at our location. That's right. Nice quick right there by the Mongoose, Montelongo. Oh, nice right, nice left combination. Yeah, he's a talented fighter, but, uh, you know, he's, a, he's facing an experienced fighter, so... Oh, Cavedo's no no joke here. I mean, he's he's ready to go too. Oh yeah, his numbers are uh, are very strong. He's very experienced. Uh, uh, in his last fight, he fought Eric Morrell. That was in Vegas. Yeah, it was in Vegas at the Hard Rock. Wow. I uh, see their their pace and their, their, this is this is what is the difference between seasoned fighters and, and, and fighters that are that are not so seasoned. As you see, they pace themselves and then they set up the punches. They set up the technician. The Mongoose, look at him. He, 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 he goes in, but then he backs off. See, he's going to pace himself because he knows he has six rounds to fight here. And he can't just, you know, expend everything in the first round. Yeah, even the, this couple shots he took there, he was backing up. So pretty ineffective. Maybe maybe scored a point. But right now, a lot of, a lot of that experience showing with 10 left. That's kind of why I went into a little monologue because I knew these guys, you know, we're going to see a real, a real battle here tonight. That's right. That's the end of the first round right there. Well, again, we've been privileged enough to have uh, Juan Galvez from Fino Boxing ringside to give us an update. And uh, what do you see over there? Pretty good, uh, well-tested round. Both guys just measuring each other out. Nothing too dramatic in this round. Uh, playing is smart, so we'll see what's to come in the next upcoming rounds. It's the first of six. <laughs> yeah, I like the fact that I can see Mongoose in his corner. He's, he, he's got that. He's not his head quick. He's got that look in his eye. And, and like I said, I've seen him fight. So for me, it looks like business as usual for him. Uh, oh. I think, you know, it's going to come down to more what Daniel can do and maybe disrupting what I, what I think Mongoose pretty sure what he came here to do. Looks like they're, they're giving Daniel some advice over here in his corner. Um, talking him to it, telling him to explode more um, off the off the punches. So let's see what he does here in the second round. Here we go. Well, again, an eight-year age difference. Mongoose at 23 years old, Daniel at 31. That's a quick right overhand by Caveda. Uh, Well, and I don't mean that in a bad way. You know, I'm, I'm 39, and, and I'm still just, you know, coming into my own here. I thought you were only 36. What happened? Well, that was that leap year. Oh, I yeah, see. Yeah, a lot of people don't uh, remember. Both these fighters showing great, great conditioning. Quick, sharp, on their toes, moving very, very quickly. Mongoose gets him in the corner and just starts to pound away on his stomach. Put the midsection into, into his gloves. He's still, he's still trying to work his arms down there. And it, I think that's just that's a technique that he's using to just tire him out so that he starts to drop his hands. Well, like I said, Javier, 8-3-1. Uh, he, he's an orthodox fighter who has won uh, his last two at the Quiet Canyon in the last couple of events that were done through the all-star boxing and the um, you know battle of the rising stars so he's very comfortable in this format nice exchange right there the mongoose is actually ranked 392 out of about 1200 fighters in his direct class nice combination left right with the mongoose montalongo tries to keep him in that corner but he works his way out the Mongoose brings his fans here tonight. Montalongo's got a lot of fans here. Always does. This guy always got a, he's always got people with him. And uh, Cavedo showing the good sportsman here, touches gloves with, with the Mongoose. Well, that's the one interesting thing. And, and I don't have every stat here, but I'm not sure that, that Montalongo's faced 
a guy with quite this much experience. So that could be an interesting sort of counter uh, to his kind of aggressive style. We'll see. It seems that the mongoose is starting to get his rhythm. You see him moving. He's starting to, he's starting to get his pace. And now he's going to set him up. He's, he's, he starts to pump that jab in there, and then, and then he, he steps back. And then he starts again. See him pump his, his, he starts to pump his fist in a circular motion, then all of a sudden he starts coming in. See, he's starting to look there. He, he, he steps. Yeah, and, and you know, one thing for sure that uh, Daniel doesn't want is, is the goose to get comfortable because yeah. he will start yeah. to. Look at him, look at him. He starts to move those hands. It's, it, that's his rhythm. He's getting his rhythm down, and he starts to move. Look at the feet. And he starts to jump right in there, and then he starts pumping that jab in there, and then he finishes him off with a couple of strong rights on that. Yeah, a couple of nice shots from the mongoose. Actually, a little sweat landing almost right here on the on, on the on us, I guess I'd say. Yeah, we got we got to give Caveda some some kudos though on that round because he did stand up and and he's and he's doing really really well, in spite of the fact that he that he did get hit with a, a couple of really good punches. Well, yeah, he's faced with a guy. You know, he's got the crowd behind him. He's his his technique's very good. He's he's you know he's eight years younger. You yeah. know. Yeah. And, and, and like I said, I don't mean that necessarily as a negative, but it, it's a factor, especially when this guy's got the momentum that he sort of has around him right now. Absolutely. Uh, I actually went down to uh, uh, the gym that we were talking about earlier. I don't want to get the name wrong, so I don't want to say the wrong gym, but it was uh, Freddie Roach. And we were looking for Javier. He was training down there yeah. in Hollywood. I went down with Ed Holmes. And, and he was there, and, and we didn't get a chance to talk to him, but he was sparring. And, you know, they're about one out of every five or six fighters has an energy. You can just feel it. You know, and there's other fighters around, but there's a lot of energy around, around Javier right now. And I've seen that. I've seen that myself just this year in Hollywood. Here we go now. We're going to see what these guys do in this round. Mongoose is, is wound up. He's, he's starting to get his pace. It looks like he's starting to get a little more rhythm and he's starting to use that rhythm to his advantage. Kaveda is not going to back down though. He's 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 definitely in this to fight. He's not here to 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 just be taken advantage of. No, no. In in, in fact, taking the center of the ring and uh, trying to sort of dictate a little bit of the pace now, a little footwork coming from Daniel as well. Interesting combinations that the mongoose is throwing. Uh, Montalongo seems to, he, he seems to do a rhythm where he takes a step, then a step back, then he does two more steps and they come in with combinations. Seems to be, uh, seems to be a little bit of a cadence, uh, kind of like a musician, you know? Yeah, I think you're right. I think, you know, he, he's spent a lot of time in the gym and, uh, you know, he's one of those guys when you talk to people and you say, oh, what about this guy? Their eyes sort of light up and go, oh yeah, he could, uh, you know, he could kind of do something. Both these fighters look really sharp here. Combinations left and right. The mongoose starts to throw his combinations, get inside. He looks like he's, he's, he's picking his shots. Kaveda seems to be uh, pacing himself a little bit here. He knows he's got some more rounds to go, so he's going to kind of hold back a little bit maybe. And, 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 and Well, I think there's no doubt experience, uh, you know, comes into it. And, and that can be, you know, maybe an advantage. Six round fight. We're almost halfway through this fight here. This is the main event. And uh, both these guys are really well conditioned, showing exceptional quality of sportsmanship and ex exceptional um, athletes. Well, and, and maybe it's worth just saying this, you know, winding down around three, that that's one of the great things I think, you know, the LA boxing scene, you know, Ed Holmes has, has you know, 20, 30 years experience in this, you know, type of venue. They started out at Quiet Canyon about 30 years ago doing this exact thing, this Battle of the Rising Stars. And, you know, when you have a saturated market of so many things going on, this is quality. Nice grass, combinations there by grassroots the Grassroots boxing is what it is. It's, if you had to give it a name, and it's some of the best grassroots boxing you're going to find. You see the combinations that the mongoose is throwing there. It's just it's amazing how snappy his punches are, how, how quickly he's throwing those and executing some, some precision when he's, when he's landing. Yeah, we actually had to kind of wait behind a couple guys to even get in to see him. Oh, nice combination there by Caveda. Caveda yeah. landed something. It looks like he, now we're, we're getting down to the, the end of the third round here. And let's I, see what these guys do. I kind of like Caveda doing that at the end of round three. Uh, 
And, and that could be what he could do. You know, if he can get, you know, maybe the opportunity to get Javier a little bit confident, get him kind of, and then just, you know, cock him one or two. You yeah. know, this guy does have eight KOs. Yeah. So I kind of, again, who would you give that round to? Well, it's hard not to watch Javier work and think he didn't win the round. Yeah. He, he works, he skips, he moves, he lands combinations. Sure. But, you know, again, when you have a guy who's been around the block a couple times, um, in a lot of ways, it's just the same way the ring guys walk around the ring. You know, you, <laughs> you have to do it more than once. Absolutely. Let's go now down to uh, Juan Galvez to see what he sees ringside. That's a pretty good action. Um, you, definitely the experience factor is going to play a huge role in the later rounds. So uh, we'll see how it ends up from here. So you're sitting down there, uh, you know, in, in the elders' corner, I should, in his corner, I should say, Daniel Cruverdo. Uh, he, he's, he still looks like he's okay, don't you think? Oh, definitely. I, I would have expected him. The way he's fighting to have been tired by now, but he looks like he's... 23 years old. And oh yeah, he's 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 looking a little more serious in this fourth oh, round. Definitely, definitely, he's 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 well worked for this fight. He's he's well prepared, and and like I said, that experience factor is going to play a huge a huge role in this fight. Well, yeah, my my 13 year old son is a lot younger than me, but I can still uh, you know I can still run basketball with him and surprise him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think that, as I said earlier, that could really be a factor here. If somehow Daniel's able to, you know, sort of harness that, but here comes Mongoose. Here comes the Mongoose putting on the pressure. He's got him on the ropes. Daniel, you know, yeah, sort of squirms out. Cavedo answers back. He he's comes back and he's and he's snapping. And here comes Cavedo. He's, yeah, he's coming here he right comes. after him. Throws a big right hand. Doesn't quite connect, but these guys are trading punches here. Oh, Cavedo's not backing off. I like to off. see that. I like to see Cavedo right now doing what he's doing, establishing he's, some position in the ring. He's not backing off at all. That's just amazing. Well, and again, he's got almost 30 or so plus fights that he's been through. So, you know, I have to think at some point, and you're a fighter yourself, you know, more from the karate, uh, but... There's a time where you deep, you, know, you reach down for your experience. Absolutely, absolutely, and you put all your your energy into your your fight spirit, and you you continue to drive, and and you you got to keep going. You can't give up. You got to keep going no matter what. And that's that's just oh, there's a nice overhand right by Cabeda. He caught the mongoose, but the mongoose is coming back now. It looks like it looks like Daniel might be a little tired. And these guys are pacing themselves a little bit more here now. They're not so sharp, but they're still pacing themselves. Montalongo's trying to keep him on the ropes. Oh, that was a low blow. Yeah, he's going to go over here. It's a timeout. Yeah, that one kicked in definitely low on him. He's going to kind of have to catch his wind probably a little bit. And sometimes it's just the way it happens. It's not necessarily anybody's intention to do that, but it happens that way. Yeah, and as the crowd sort of he just got a second him, warning for a low hit. blow, and he says, "If there's one more point, uh, one more, one more low blow, and he's going to get a point taken away." Montalongo seems to be getting his rhythm back now. You see his hands start to do his little, his little twirl there. That he does. He's trying to get his rhythm. He's trying to get his pace. He's stepping. He's looking. Look at him. He bobs and weaves. And yeah. He's, oh, then. It, but that takes. Did you see how? Did you see how Cavada came right in on that? Yeah. I think that's. You know. That's that patient experience. You know. You just kind of. Okay. You know. I've. I've been hit. I've been low blowed. I. You know. He's been through just about every scenario. Both these fighters are very precise about what they're doing here. They're not. They're not holding back. They're, but they're. But they're also calculating everything, and not. Not taking. Uh, wild shots. Yeah, Javier wants to get off. That, when he starts moving around, dancing, he a little wants, bit of pressure now on Javier. And yeah, a little, little, little more of that sort of that show off from Javier. But you know that that maybe could work with another fighter that's maybe has the same level of experience. But now he's dealing with a guy who has almost three times the level of experience, which Absolutely. is interesting. Absolutely. You know, because he might just sit back and say, well, okay, you know, every time you do that, you know, you might pull something in your forearm. <laughs> Montalongo's trying to catch his wind over here in his corner. K 
Cavada seems to be a little tired. His corner's trying to tell him to not let up and just keep keep the combinations, keep coming in, and just fire the explosive shots. Well, and I don't know where James is. Uh, you know, JT Media. I've been trying to get a shot of us all night on the live cam. He didn't want to do it, but maybe at the end of the show. Absolutely, absolutely. He's gotten worse lately. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. JT Media doing a great job on on the. Uh, there we the go. Start tonight. of the fifth round now. Touching gloves. Good sportsmanship by both these guys. Both these fighters are in great shape. Excellent conditioning. Very snappy. Very very sharp. Yeah, in spite really, of really coming out sharp here in round five. Uh, which you know is sort of the equivalent of a round three in a four round. So absolutely, this is big right here. You've got to you know try and establish what you're going to do. Cavada seems like he's he's trying to think now. He's trying to he's trying to make those those shots count. I think that's the advice he got from his corner. He's got the mongoose on the corner on the ropes here a little bit. Um, the mongoose seems to be he's, he's got a lot of patience, but he's he's also got some some great shots that he's landing. Yeah, um, he, he does. And, and, you know, I'm also seeing at the same time Daniel wearing him down a little bit. He's a strong guy. I can see he can oh, take a punch. There's a punch right there. And you're right. He took one. He took one right there. <laughs> that was that was a good one. Cavada looks like he's, he's trying to put him in the corner. He's trying to trying to size him up, get him right over there. The mongoose is just too quick. He steps in, he steps out. His hands are still up. He's still he's still alive in this fight. It looks like he might be trying to figure out where he's going to come in and, and, and initiate his assault. Nice combination by Cavada. Yeah, that could have been worse for Javier, though. He kind of dodged the worst of it. Looks like it looks like he's starting to, to get a little tired. I don't know. Mongo seems to be dropping his hands a little bit. Yeah, I see him doing that, and and you know, noticeable swelling on the face a little bit. Yeah. And, and again, you know, nice combinations by Cavado right here. Sometimes older guys can can be like rocks. Yep. You know, and yep. he's definitely got a lot of heart. Nice combination. Oh, looks like looks like the mongoose is starting to land some punches now. Yeah, Kavita's, he hit. Not, I don't back, think though. I don't think Daniel did he hit with that left to the body. I couldn't. It was close. It, 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 I think he missed it at the glove, but it came up. And when he came up, he hit him in the face. Now it looks like they're pacing themselves again. This is, seems to be the the, the 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 routine on this this fight. Um, these guys they, they come in, they throw a few punches at the beginning, real snappy, and then they kind of pace themselves a little bit. Now. Referee's kind of giving them, giving them a, a little bit of a coach here about what they need to do. We need to get some action going here. These guys are they're, they're, they're dancing around, but they're not doing too much punching. Now they're starting to load, load, load up and throw some combinations. Well, as with the last the six round fight we had earlier, um, the last two rounds make a difference in well, the stamina. And, and, you know, the last fight ends up in a draw. I think because of that reason. Here we go. Five seconds winding down this fifth and yeah, round. And that, continuing the sportsmanship here. These guys are excellent sportsmen with each other. Very, very good sportsmen. Touching gloves at the end of the round there. Well, you know, when, when you build a boxing league off of good vibes and good people, I mean, 30 years All-Star Boxing has been doing this. You know, you're going to get good people. And uh, we probably ought to take it down now to Juan and see what he sees over in uh, Daniel's corner. I see pretty good, uh, you know. Both, both guys have been showing tremendous heart as well on this fight as all the fights this, this past night. Um, you know what, I have more favor towards uh, the blue corner and the fact that I feel that Mongoose hasn't been letting his hands go as much. Um, if he wants to do anything decisively, he better start letting those hands go a little bit more because he's holding back a lot. And the experience is playing a huge factor in this, in this fight. So for Mongoose, I think he has to let those hands go a little bit more. Here we go with the last round, final round of the night. Main event. Well, and I have to I have to agree with with Juan on that. I mean, you know, Mongoose is, is playing his game, playing his game, but it has been it's been oh, interesting nice to see. Nice exchange right there. To see Quiverto's patience is seeming almost strategy. If he can make it work here. Quiverto still has some really sharp punches, in spite of the fact the Mongoose is just putting a steam on. Now. He's just really putting a lot of pressure on him. 
putting him up against the ropes. He just seems to put those combinations in. Ooh, nice duck from Daniel Guerrero, and, and then pushes Mongoose almost across the entire ring there. Nice, right on the chin there of the Mongoose. Okay, we're going to see a big sixth round here. This is a make or break round for both these fighters. I think they've both got an opportunity here to, to earn a lot of points. Well, we've had the opportunity tonight to see uh, some great fights uh, earlier tonight. Donald Mixon. Oh, nice combination by the Mongoose. We had Ronald right Mixon earlier. On the, by Caveda, on Caveda. And now we got the Mongoose, Daniel the Mongoose. I mean, two great up and coming fighters right here on Battle of the Rising Stars, y'all. Montalongo seems to be, have him on the ropes, put the pressure on him, slipping and ducking and moving out. Moving out. Caveda's trying to, trying to get out of there. He gets himself out of that corner. Oh, nice, nice exchange right there. Oh. Looks, like, looks like both these fighters are trying to put all their heart and soul into this. Look at this, y'all. Look at the combinations, look at this. These guys really want this. Both of them are just putting their heart and soul into it. Mongoose has got his fans out here. Here comes the Mongoose chant in the sixth round, but I'll tell you what, he's got his hands full right now with Daniel Caveda. Less than a minute and a half left to go here in this main title fight. And Coverto tucking his head in, has got the Mongoose a little on the ropes. Nice oh. combination by Coverto. He needs to get his head up and he just starts to start throwing those combinations. This is not a time for him to rest. They got a, a little bit over a minute left. Yeah, it almost it almost seemed like that combination. Oh, took nice some overhand. Out of him. Nice overhand right by Coverto right there. Yeah, to where Mongoose is, is loading up. He seems to he'll take a minute, he'll take a pause, and all of a sudden he starts the attack. And when the attack comes, it's 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 the real deal. You're right. He's he's patient. He's he's like a rock, and he's coming in again. Mongoose is waiting. Here he comes. Here he comes. He steps back again. Some of Mongoose's punching punches are starting to miss now a little bit. Cavada's just trying to get through this fight now. It looks like he's tired. He's just pacing himself. He's trying to he's trying to. Get do, you think, do you think he thinks he's won the fight? I don't know. I, at this point, I think it's anybody's game, but I think I think the Mongoose is starting to put the pressure on because he needs to win this round. Nice, nice left by the Mongoose. Mongoose now dancing, Coverto pushing. This is exactly what we came for, main event. He's trying to get his fans going. He's trying to get the crowd going here. He's trying to get everybody going so he can get some momentum. It doesn't look like anything's going to happen at the, at the end. And that's the end of the fight now. Oh, Mongoose holds his hands up. Wonderful fight from both fighters. Excellent, excellent, excellent fight here. Both these fighters showing exceptional athleticism. Wonderful matchup as well. Corvedo coming in with the experience. And, and you know, Mon Montalongo has been on such a roll. And these two colliding here tonight has been, has been great to watch. Cafeto showing good sportsmanship. He's fight. coming over here, showing showing a thumbs up to everybody in the crowd, showing him that he's still got it. He's still he's still in it. He's he's alive and he's and he's not stunned by this. And I think the crowd equally is respectful, uh, you know, Absolutely. in quieting down and just you know, I think appreciating both fighters. Absolutely. I can, I can sort of appreciate both ends of that, you know. We don't want somebody to, to roll over a taxi cab in the parking lot or anything. You no, know? no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we need. <laughs> As long as they don't hit my new car, I'm good. Yeah, I'm loving the attitude on, on both sides of the ring here tonight. Fantastic job by everybody involved. I guess uh, we could go down ringside one more time to Juan Galvez. Thank you so much for joining us for all the fights tonight. And uh, you're from Fino Boxing. And, and, and how do you have the fight? Who won it in, in a few words? Oh man, uh, first of all, it was a pleasure being here for my first time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, oh, yeah. I hope you guys see me again soon. Absolutely. Just the beginning. Uh, you know what? Uh, it's hard. It, these, this fight, these fights were great. It was a great night of action. All these guys showed heart, showed will. My hat's off to everyone. At the end of the day, all these guys are champions. All these guys deserve nothing but respect. And uh, the crowd, the crowd is the one, the winners at the end of the day, because these guys gave us a great show and Nothing but the best for all these guys. Well said, man. Thank you, uh, Juan. We appreciate that, and I agree. Uh, you know, when you get good people together like this, it's sort of magic. Uh, and, and way to avoid the question, uh, who do you think won? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, he, he's, he's, he's not going to answer. I'll spin, it, I'll spin it over to Ricky Parrish now. Middleweight kickboxing uh, extraordinaire. Who do you have it? 
Well, I, I, I got to give Kaveda a, a lot of kudos for, for sticking it out for six rounds, but I think that this is probably going to go to Montelongo, the mongoose. Let's see what the, what the decision is here. Luck, luckily, I got out of that. Actually, we go to the scorecards. We have our decision. Judge at ringside, Barry Druxman, scores the bout 57 to 57, a draw. Although he was overruled by Judge at ringside, Alejandro Rochin, who scored the bout 59 to 55, and Zachary Young, who scored the bout 58 to 56, in favor of our winner. By majority decision, Xavier, the Mongoose, Montelongo, Jr. There you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Ed Holmes and the entire all-star promotion staff. We'd all like to wish you happy holiday season. Thank you all for attending this evening and hope to see you at the Quiet Canyon on January 29th for Ed Holmes All-Star Promotions Battle here. of the Rising Stars. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for attending this evening. Happy holiday. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, here's our crew, our ringside crew. Thank you. It was a great, great night. Oh, that's all right. I had we'll a get blast. It, next it was a great experience. Yeah. Can't wait to do it all again. What right a fun on. night. I had a what blast. a fun night. There's Ricky Parrish. All right. We'll get Juan right Galvez. Now. Teresa over we'll on the corner you. we didn't get to get to, but thanks, right, everybody. Very right. pleasure. Yeah. Happy holidays. Well, Good job, guys. You guys that was killed so it. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, I brought the ammunition. Oh, yeah, you did. You came through, sure. Yeah. Uh, Alejandro, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, yeah. That, that was kind of rough, but we did it. You know. Hey, isn't that rough? I think those are going to come back oh, really good. They're just going to sound Sean, good. Sean, thank you very much. Happy holidays. Thank you. Oh, yeah, no, 